Hey guys, it's Max, Chief Evangelist over here at Happily, AKA the guy who still can't believe how many people I talk to have no idea that you can associate objects in workflows using our app Associate. All right, let's dive into it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> so let's use this as an example. Let's pretend you've got deals getting created in your CRM through some sort of external uh, integration, right? Maybe it's some app that you're connecting to HubSpot or some app from the marketplace that's creating objects. Maybe you're using like Zapier or something. Either way, you're creating these deal objects, but there's no association to the contact that they need to be associated to, right? There could be a billion situations where you have some kind of object that you need to automate an association to another object, right? Instead of going in there and manually tying things together. This is what associate does. So if we're looking at workflows here, okay, let's pretend I need to make sure that every time one of these deals gets created, it automatically gets tied to a customer or a contact in this case. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go create a workflow here from scratch. And let's go ahead and create a deal-based workflow because I wanna trigger this for every new deal that gets created. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to set up some triggers here that anytime a deal gets created with a property of customer ID and it's known, save. It's gonna trigger this workflow. Now, in my imaginary scenario, what I have is deals getting created inside of HubSpot coming from some sort of external source, whether it's just, you know, some private app integration hitting our APIs, or maybe it's some, you know, public app from the app marketplace I'm using, whatever it may be, right? It's creating deals in HubSpot, and there's this thing called a customer ID, right? And what we know in our scenario is that our contacts also have this customer ID. Right? So they're placing an order in a different system. That order is getting created inside of HubSpot. It's passing along a property called customer ID, which will match a customer ID on a contact inside of HubSpot, right? How do I make that happen? Well, we are gonna go ahead and add an action here, and we're gonna add the associate deal action, right? And the way this works, and again, you could apply this to a billion different scenarios where this would be useful, is we're gonna tell this action, hey, when we get down to this point in the workflow, look at all of our contacts. And on our contacts, look at the customer ID property. And then look at the deal going through the workflow and look at the property called customer ID. Now the property names may be different, right? But in this case, in this scenario, we're pretending that both of these objects have a property called customer ID, right? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna say, okay, we're gonna look at this deal going through the workflow and we're gonna specifically look at this customer ID property. Then we're gonna look at the customer ID property of all the contacts in our database. What's gonna happen is if this matches an I customer ID on a contact, it is going to create an association, okay? So basically, every single time someone orders something through the other system, a deal gets created, and their contact is gonna get that deal associated to them each time, right? That's basically what'll happen here. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can choose an association label to apply, all right? So I'm gonna say, use the customer association label and then hit save and it's literally that easy i can go ahead and turn this on right now and what's going to happen is every time one of those deals gets created it's going to associate it to a contact where the customer id fields are matching you could do this with a number of different other scenarios right perhaps you have like a domain uh on a company record and you want to match it to companies right uh, you know, you could you could do it through various different ID numbers that you might be piping in from different situations. Um, there's so many different things that you can do with Associate. I'm gonna be releasing a whole bunch of videos that show some cool use cases. The very first one we're gonna show you is how to uh, support an affiliate program in the background using Associate so people can send in referrals and use referral codes and you make sure those deals are getting associated to folks who are referring business to you. You can do a lot of really 
you know, unique things with Associate. Uh, but just wanted to do this quick demo to make sure everyone knew about it because there's still so many folks that I talk to that have no idea this even exists as an option. So hope that was helpful. Hope you have some way to kind of weave this into a solution that you're building for yourself or maybe a client. And if you have any other questions on how you can associate objects in workflows, drop them in the comments below, shoot us a message. Don't forget to follow our YouTube channel and follow us on LinkedIn as well for updates on all the awesome apps that we're building for the HubSpot ecosystem. See you in the next video. And you know it was built happily. <laughs>